What's up everybody and welcome back to Fine Details by Danny Sylvan, this playlist right here on Danny Sylvan Vlog. As you guys can see from the title, today I will be going through my top five essential accessories for men to own. And this is a video for the guys out there who are looking to elevate their style. If this is something you're interested in, be sure to keep watching. Also, please subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions along the way, be sure to leave it in the comments below. All right, guys, without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so by definition, an accessory is something that can be added to something else to make it more useful, versatile, or attractive. And you see this in home decor, accessorizing maybe a bathroom or a kitchen, a certain space. In today's video, we'll be talking specifically about how to accessorize your outfit when it comes to men's fashion and men's apparel. So I've been working in retail on and off since about 2012, and when one thing that stuck out to me in retail is the importance of accessories and how just adding little touches of small things to your outfit can really make them pop and really make a difference. That's why I decided to make this video today because I think that a lot of guys out there have their outfit and I see them and I'm like, you're doing your thing man, like that's great. But if you had like this piece right here, if you had that there, it would just make it pop. It would make it so much better. You also don't want to overkill your accessories. So that's why I've narrowed it down to my top five essential accessories that I believe every man should have in his little wardrobe or chest. <laughs> Let's go right into the first one. Essential men's accessory number one is something that I'm actually currently wearing right now, and that is the necklace or chain. Now, when it comes to men's apparel, there's a few different variations of the necklace. There is something that's a little bit more simplistic, like what I'm wearing right now, which is more of a chain style. There's also what you would call a statement piece necklace, which is what I'm gonna be showing here in this clip. This is a necklace that is something that kind of pulls your outfit together. It's a centerpiece that draws eyes in, and it's something that's kind of like, bam. Another example of that would be something like this. You know, you've got the bling bling <laughs> there, uh, even though it's not real diamonds or anything. And this is a piece that I would say is also a statement piece necklace. This is something that you wear that you want eyes to be drawn to, which is, you know, really cool because it kind of brings the center of you in the forefront, which I think for a lot of guys can be an amazing thing. So I would say that is something you definitely want to have when you're looking at accessories that you want to buy. Essential accessory for men number two is something that I think goes a little unnoticed in a lot of men's apparel and men's fashion, but I think is such a great, nice, clean statement piece that you can wear. I think it just kind of classes the average man up a little bit and it really elevates a look overall. It's that little thing that kind of draws your eyes in and I find that it's something that men can wear because there's so many variations of it. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> Come on now, dog. Come on, man. I am talking about the ring right there. I think that rings are a very, very nice piece. Something small and simplistic that you can add, but that can still pop and elevate your look. With the ring, you can do something small like this, a very simple band, but you can also do something that's a little bit more of a statement piece, which would be something more like this ring here. It really just 
adds something to the outfit altogether. And funny enough, it's the one accessory out of all the ones that I'm gonna list right now that I get the most compliments on <laughs> when I'm out and about. Wow, that's a really nice ring. Where did you get that from? Wow, that looks really nice on your finger, you know? It's something that I think is so low-key, and I think that it's also something that should be a little bit more celebrated, recognized, and worn. So if you go to some of your top men's fashion websites, they definitely have a section with rings as an accessory. So you definitely want to check that out. Men's essential accessory number three is another accessory that I'm currently wearing, but that isn't really in frame right now. And that would be the watch or bracelet. <laughs> basically a wrist piece. I find that these class up a look, more than even I would say the ring does, but they're still essential. <laughs> the watch is something that really, really classes it up. I'll be completely honest with you, most of the time, <laughs> you're gonna drag me for this, but most of the time when I wear a watch, it's not even telling the right time, it's literally just an accessory for me. Why? 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 Throw stones, throw tomatoes, okay? I don't care. <laughs> because it's so rare that someone actually asks me for the time using my watch. It just doesn't happen. So I'm like, why am I setting this? I'm so default to check my phone anyway, so like, I'm just gonna check my phone. But I think that it is such a nice piece to have and nice piece to wear to really bring your outfit together. I'll actually insert a picture here of an outfit that I wore, I believe, with this watch. And I feel like it just brought it all together with the colors and what I was wearing. The outfit just kind of worked cohesively and the watch played a big part in that. I say bracelets as well because those are also things that you can wear nicely on your wrist. As you can see in the video here, I am wearing a bracelet rather than a watch and it again just really classes up the look and makes it work cohesively with the outfit. Essential men's accessory number four would be a hat or head piece. That is right, this is one of the most simplistic accessories that you can add to an outfit that really enhances the outfit overall, as long as you make it work and know the colors that work and all of that. If you wanna know more about that, maybe I could do a video about that, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But whether it's a Panama hat, a pork pie, I know that sounds weird, <laughs> a beanie, a fitted cap, a snapback, or a headband. There are so many options when it comes to men's hats. You just have to know the one that works right for you, that works right for your head shape, okay? Some of the safer options are a snapback or a fitted cap. Those are usually for sure great ones. Hats that I would avoid, okay? Don't wear a bucket hat. Please don't wear a bucket hat, okay? <laughs> the other one is a top hat. It's a, little, it's a little corny. It's just a little corny in 2021 to be wearing a top hat, so I'd suggest maybe not wearing that. But all the other hat options are great, so I would definitely say add that to your accessories. All right, so the fifth and final essential men's accessory that you should have in your closet is an accessory that is extremely fitting for the times that we're in. It is a face mask or a face covering. <laughs> I know, 2021, what a weird time, but it is such a cool accessory and statement that you can make with a face mask. Now, if you're looking to go with more classic styles, keep the pattern of it more simplistic. I would say try to match with another color or piece in your outfit. Stay with more neutral colors. As you can see in the video, I have one that's patterned, but it's more of a blue, like a navy blue. That's something that's really safe 
you probably have other navy blue pieces and it also by default will just go with most of your jeans if it's like a dark wash jean so it's kind of accenting the two and then you can have others like you see even in the video I have more of a beige or caramel turtleneck that I'm wearing and as long as you can see the denim in my jeans with the face mask it kind of just works you know so finding the right pattern finding the right color is great and I think that it is really essential when it comes to your face mask and the one that you pick if you're a little bit more quirky sure you can go with like a design that's like a catchphrase or something like that but if you want to go for more of a classic look I would say stick with neutral colors stick with a pattern that's not too alarming or not too loud and have that as your face mask or face covering all right fellas that's all I've got for you today if you liked this video please like this video I mean, let's get these likes and subscribes up, y'all. You know, let, let, let's do it. Let's work as a team with this, you know? Bring it up. More content, more likes, more subscriptions. It's, it's, a, whole, it's a whole movement here, okay? What we're trying to elevate together. So, <laughs> smash that thumbs up. Again, if you have any questions, be sure to leave it in the comments. And uh, don't forget to follow my socials as well. Uh, you can follow at Find details DS. That is the actual blog. There is so much information on there that I post that I don't necessarily make videos of. Just the other day I made a post about deodorants, spray on versus roll on. We've got some pretty fun content on there so be sure to check that out. Also you can check out my personal uh, page which is D-N-L-S-Y-L-V-N on Instagram. You can also check out me on TikTok that is D-N-L-S-Y-L-V-N as well. So hope you all have a fantastic week and I will see you next time right here on Fine Details by Danny Sylvan. This playlist on Danny Sylvan vlog. Bye friends. <laughs>